Last week, I was lucky enough to be randomly chosen Raiders of the Lost Ark. So this week, of course, I've already gone back and watched it. I'm going to do a brand new review. We're going to be spinning from the car chase movie wheels this week as well. And then, of course, we'll choose which genre I'll be spinning from next week. All that coming up right now. Raiders of the Lost Ark. What can you say about one of the greatest action films ever made? Everyone who's probably ever seen this film would agree that this is the best of the series and also one of their favourite movies they've ever seen. And clearly, it for very good reason. It's populous entertainment made by the great Steven Spielberg, made by the from the mind of George Lucas, starring Harrison Ford. And what why this film is such a classic? Because it keeps to simple genre format that date back way back to the 30s with serials. And this is what Indiana Jones is inspired from, those classic serials of the 30s and 40s. And why it's become a cult classic is because they kept the film simple. We have an adventurer on a journey to find the... the the Lost Ark, and away he goes. But it's not just the simple plot and the inspiration of those series why this film is so great. It comes down to an exceptional performance by Harrison Ford playing Indiana Jones. I can't imagine anyone else in this role. And one day we will see somebody replace him. But until then, he's iconic in this film. He's one of those heroes that we're not used to seeing at that point especially when this was made. Generally, heroes always win the day. And yes, Indiana Jones does win most battles he's in, but not without getting his butt kicked every time. I mean, for an example, right here, he looks like he's going to climb out of it. Boom! It's going to slip. And it does. But he always gets through. Harrison Ford is exceptional in this film, but he's not the only exceptional actor. In this. Karen Allen is probably in her career-defining role playing Marion Ravenwood. Um, and their chemistry together is incredible. It really is. But what wakes this film, why I love it so much, is right now we're looking at the opening scene. This film starts you in mid-adventure. Straight away, you're following our hero as he goes and finds the idol. And straight away, he's in a lot of danger. And by the time the scene finishes, boom, we're straight into the film. We're straight back at his college where he is a college professor. And we're introduced to the CIA agents who tell him about the theory that the, the Nazis are trying to find the Lost Ark. I'm not explaining the whole film to you because it is such an epic film. It's really hard to review this because what do you say that everyone else hasn't said? So I've only got to talk about my experience with it. And that is this film holds a really special place in my heart just because it's one of those films that is almost perfect. It's efficient in its storytelling. It's efficient with its action. And it certainly is a popular film um, amongst everybody. I can't imagine anybody whether you're young or old, that won't enjoy this rousing adventure. Raiders of the Lost Ark is the classic film. It remains one of the best pieces of cinema that has been made in the last 40 years. And you can argue that all day long, but I think you'll find most critics agree. Either way, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when is the last time you've seen it? When's the last time you watched it? Get, do yourself a favour. Dig the movie out of the DVD rack, get on Disney+, Plus, or go wherever you can to find this film and sit back and enjoy this film as much as I did. Thanks, guys. That was the review of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And there we go. What a great film. So many great memories, you know, from this movie. And, you know, before I end it too, I mean, going back and watching it, which I assume was into the over 50 times I've seen this film, immediately you're locked in. You're in the film again, and you're following every step of the way. Oh, I gush about this film so much, guys. But we've got to move forward, because we're going to spin now the car chase wheel. So let's move over to the wheel. And here we are. This week we're spinning 
films from the that have will contain great car chase scenes or are primarily about cars chasing each other in some way. But let's you know before we spin the wheel, you know last week I didn't really go into some of the films on the list, so let's take that opportunity to do right now. And as you can see, we've got films like The Raid Two. You wouldn't think would have a great car chase scene. We've got The Blues Brothers. We've got Bullet in there. You know things like Death Proof and um, uh, Gone in sixty seconds, of course. Bad Boys Two. To the Italian Job, to the Transporter, Jack Reacher, Mad Max Fury Road, Ronan, and the list goes on. So there's 20 films there that we've randomly chosen, put in this wheel, and one of those films that I'm just about to spin, I will need to go and re-watch and do a review on next week's show. So without further ado, let's spin this wheel and see where we end up. Alrighty, whew. I want to let this sit for a minute. Oof. Jeez, I hope I can get a stinker. I was lucky last week to have uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, but the week before, ugh, Green Lantern. Here we go. Well, I've landed on Jack Reacher, and guess what, guys? My knowledge on Jack Reacher is absolute zero. I've never seen it. I know people that have seen it and said they enjoyed it, um, but I really know nothing about it. All I know that it's uh, Chris Christopher McQuarrie, Directed this film. It's uh, obviously Tom Cruise. Um, he plays a detective, I think, or some sort of investigator based on some novels. That's about it. all I know, guys. So this will be a first viewing for me, which is, will be the first for the show. So this will be great to go and see this film the first time. And I'll give you my honest opinion of what I thought about Jack Reacher next week. So that's exciting. Jack Reacher will be next week's review now let's just move over before we go to the genre we'll decide which series of films i'll be choosing from next week it'd be remiss of me that I've, of course don't plug away and talk about obviously subscribing to the random film watch youtube channel and following me on instagram random film watch and of course over at my other channel at pop culture said what i do with my best mate rick Please, of course, subscribe to that channel if you want. There's hundreds of videos at this point. We're about two and a half years into this channel. We're having a blast so far. It's going strong. So follow us on both formats, guys. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the genre wheel. Okay, the genre wheel. Again, I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about some of the genres that are currently on this wheel. Um, and we've got things like thrillers, we've got westerns on there, film, ghost films, we've got sword and sandal films, we've got uh, indie classics as well as, um, you know, martial arts films, of course, teen comedies. There's a whole slew of genres there, guys. Let's start it. Let's spin the wheel. Let's check out what genre... I will be um, spinning from next week. Let's have a look. All right. We'll give it the old countdown. Three, two, one. Let's stop that wheel. Let's see what we got. Right. By the looks of it, this is going to be an interesting one because we've picked Oscar winners. Now, that's going to be great because Oscar winners are basically... Well, how do we interpret this? This film that contains what I would interpret as best picture winners so these will be movies on the wheel that will be oscar winners for best picture that i'll be spinning next week so that's pretty great we're going into a random direction here guys that's what the show is all about next i'm doing jack reach i'll be watching that in the next week do a review on that next week and then we'll be spinning the oscar winner wheel and see what film i'll be watching next week guys as always Thanks for watching my silly little show. We look forward to seeing you next week. And I'll be giving you my honest review on a film that's about eight years old now. But until then, we will see you soon. And I'm out.